Today, I want to introduce you to a new concept of locomotion that has the potential to revolutionize our world. A team of physicists, engineers, and mathematicians at the Georgia Institute of Technology has been studying the locomotion of centipedes to develop many-legged robotic models that can traverse any terrain without stopping. This style of movement can be used in agriculture, space exploration, and search and rescue operations. Centipedes are fascinating creatures known for their wiggly walk. They can traverse any terrain without stopping with tens to hundreds of legs. When you see a scurrying centipede, you're basically seeing an animal that inhabits a world that is very different than our world of movement. If we stop wiggling our body parts and limbs, we basically stop moving instantly. However, in the world of centipedes, this is not the case. The researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology developed a theory of multi-legged locomotion and created many-legged robotic models. They discovered that the robot with redundant legs could move across uneven surfaces without any additional sensing or control technology as the theory predicted. This redundancy makes the robot's legs successful on their own without the need for sensors to interpret the environment. If one leg falters, the abundance of legs keeps it moving regardless. The robot becomes a reliable system to transport itself and even a load from A to B on difficult or noisy landscapes. The concept is comparable to how punctuality can be guaranteed on wheeled transport if the track or rail is smooth enough, but without having to engineer the environment to create this punctuality. With an advanced bipedal robot, many sensors are typically required to control it in real time. But in applications such as search and rescue, exploring Mars, or even micro-robots, there is a need to drive a robot with limited sensing. The sensors can be expensive and fragile, or the environments can change so fast that it doesn't allow enough sensor controller response time. Juntao He, a PhD student in robotics, conducted a series of experiments where he and Daniel Soto, a master's student in the George W. Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering, built terrains to mimic an inconsistent natural environment. He then tested the robot by increasing its number of legs by two each time, starting with six and eventually expanding to 16. As the leg count increased, the robot could more agilely move across the terrain, even without sensors, as the theory predicted. Eventually, they tested the robot outdoors on real terrain, where it was able to traverse in a variety of environments. The researchers are already applying their discoveries to farming. Daniel Goldman, the Dunn family professor in the School of Physics, has co-founded a company that aspires to use these robots to weed farmland where weed killers are ineffective. They are kind of like a Roomba but outside for complex ground. A Roomba works because it has wheels that function well on flat ground. Until the development of our framework, we couldn't confidently predict locomotor reliability on bumpy, rocky, debris-ridden terrain. We now have the beginnings of such a scheme, which could be used to ensure that our robots traverse a crop field in a certain amount of time. The researchers also want to refine the robot. They know why the centipede robot framework is functional, but now they're determining the optimal number of legs to achieve motion without sensing in a way that is cost-effective. With the help of this research, the world of robotics is on the brink of a revolution that could change the way we approach farming, space exploration, search and rescue operations, and many other industries. So, stay tuned.